What's up, forward family? It's forward Fabian. I'm back again with a reaction video for the channel. I'm actually doing a reaction to Dad shoots driver dead after son was hit, killed by car in Person County. Deputies say. So this is from 17 News, uh, CBS 17 News, man. A crazy, crazy title. This is actually trending on YouTube. Uh, obviously, we're, we're gonna watch the video to gain more context, but um, I don't even know what to say about this, man. Sounds like uh, somebody trying to get their own get back or re revenge. So this is a reaction channel. Like I say, man, we specialize in reaction content. Much love to everybody who subscribes, takes time out to watch my videos. If you have recommendations for content, comment down below that obviously you want me to react to. Um, I do have a playlist page to where uh, I specialize in. It's my library of content. I specialize in all different forms of reactions. So. You know, we don't discriminate over here. Additionally, I do have a trending news playlist. So being that this is a trending video, I'll add it to that playlist link provided in the description as well as pinned in the comment section down below. So let's hop into the video. Tragedy in Person County this morning after a driver hits and kills a teenager who was walking along the road. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. The hit and run victim's father is now accused of shooting and killing the driver that hit his son. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live at the Person County Sheriff's Office with this story. Mariah, what have you been able to find out about this? Out there on that road, deputies did tell us that they had at least one neighbor that actually came up to them and told them that they actually had about a close call when they saw this family walking near that road. And they tell us this family actually stopped and parked their car on the side of the road because they had ran out of gas. A narrow country road in Timberlake. This road is, has Timberlake, a lot of traffic on it that, all right? the time because it's a cut through. Neighbors like Patty Elliott startled Monday morning. I don't know if they already mentioned it in the beginning of the video, so I missed it. So Person County's in North Carolina. Morning, noticing a line of patrol vehicles and agencies along Dink Ashley Road. I thought it was just a car accident, and that was my first concern, but when I walked across the road, look, I know we didn't see a car. Around 6 a.m., Person County Sheriff's deputies say it's where a juvenile whose family members identified as 17-year-old Chad Woods Jr. was hit and killed. Family saying the teen had worked at Pellis Point in Roxboro. He was the second oldest of four brothers. Investigators say the family had pulled over after running out of gas. They were walking to their home nearby on Cedar Creek Road. The driver actually tried to get help in that moment. He did. He's the one that initially called 911. Before help could arrive, Sergeant Kevin Morris says the teen's father shot the driver and took off with the man's truck. They found the vehicle outside the family's home. Police say the driver died from his injuries after being rushed to the hospital. He's been identified as Jeffrey McKay of Youngsville and worked as an electrical supervisor for the North Carolina Department wild wild so basically family's vehicle runs out of gas family tries to walk back home i guess they're within walking distance son within that family gets killed by a driver obviously on accident man if the driver's willing there's so many situations where the drivers or hit and run drivers run that's the hence the term hit and run um but i mean if you're trying to get help you're trying to take accountability for a mistake let it be man let it be it's just sad that pops or the father tried to, is basically uh, he's a murderer now he killed the driver who struck his son it's wild to me man people you know in the heat of the moment i'm not gonna act like i know how the father felt but in the heat of the moment you know um we can tend to do things out of our our naturally our natural mind and our natural thoughts man uh, vengeance getting revenge is a crazy thing you know because once it kind of starts it tends to boil over. Like there's no really holding back somebody who's on a kind of like an anger purge or who who's out relentlessly trying to kill to get payback or get back, however you want to phrase it. You know, that's why in the word, you know, Father talks about, you know, vengeance is mine. Cause I think God puts that in a principle in the Bible because he knows us as human beings in an emotional nature or, or in an emotional situation. We can tend to get carried away with things. Now, look at this father. He's a murderer. He's going to be taken away from his family. And they said, you know, uh, he had four children. So those kids, are they won't be able to have their father in their lives now. So, 
it's crazy. I think it's put there to understand the capacity of what we tend to do out of because in our natural mind, we don't understand, you know, once we let emotions take over, they ain't no real turning back. Of adult correction. The suspect of the shooting told us that he threw the gun in this pond. For hours, divers and crew searched the pond in soybean field nearby, unable to locate the weapon. Deputies later arrested Chad Woods Sr. in connection to the shooting. He faces charges of second degree murder and larceny of a motor vehicle. It makes it it's kind of sad, you know, and I feel, I feel bad for him because he was trying to do the right thing and he ends up just like the young juvenile did. It's a terrible thing to happen. Yeah, honestly, you know, I think the driver, it's just an accident. You know what I mean? Like I was saying prior. So, accidents happen. I think situations tend to happen in life to kind of see where we stand in our own lives. Uh, as crazy as that may sound, I do believe a lot of things occur, you know, naturally to us leading a certain life. Sometimes we do things and they put us in certain situations, right? It's our own fault. But other times I believe, you know, things occur in our life to test uh, or not even test just to see where, where your heart stands. You know what I mean? If you're looking from a faith perspective, because uh, a lot of times we go through things because situations because they're supposed to make us stronger. You know, if you if you if you believe in God, you understand that's a principle of life, that life ain't going to always be sweet. But we go through situations for them to, uh, to make us stronger in preparation for what's ahead. Because believe it or not, nine times out of ten, people that face very traumatizing, dramatic situations are, are evidently, you know, um, put in situations to where they're able to pass on that 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 uh, trial or, or how they got through that trial to the next person who's facing that. So parents that lose children, man, they have a testimony in their own in terms of how they're able to maintain and keep moving. But, you know, they're able to work with and relate to other parents and uplift other parents who've gone through same like traumatizing events. Now, deputies told us that they actually paused that search mainly because of this heat that they had. They said it was pretty warm out there, especially after being out on this road for six hours. They tell us they plan to be back out there to search for that weapon again tomorrow morning. In person, County Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. Wow, there y'all have it, man. So that is dad shoots driver dead after son was hit and killed by car in person County. So, you know, prayers out to the family. They lost two individuals. Like I said, you know, now the father's more than likely going to be locked up for X amount of years. You lost a son. Um, so crazy, crazy, you know, prayers out to them, you know, and, and the family affected, you know, in terms of the, the, the driver who was killed, who was gunned down senselessly. Um, wild world we live in, crazy world we live in, you know, just do your best to maintain protect your loved ones, you know, uh, encourage, love, um, support your loved ones, you know, while you have them around, you know, t don't take moments for granted because you never know, you know what I mean? So peace, love to everybody rocking with the channel. Uh, shout out to everybody who takes time out to view the content. If you have additional recommendations, like I said earlier, put them in the comment section down below. Check out the playlist page to get familiar with all the different forms of content I drop on the channel. Peace, love, prosperity, God bless. We'll catch you guys in the next video.